In this video, I'll be going through the process that I went through in order to create this microphone stand for my Blue Snowball Ice microphone. And this is a mostly 3D printed project that also takes a PVC pipe. So it's very simple to make. And originally it was going to mount directly to the camera portion of the tripod. And if you wanna make this yourself, you can make it mount there. However, my tripod actually broke due to the fact that it's a cheap tripod and it broke when I was tightening a screw. So I actually changed it to mount directly to the part of the tripod where it broke. But anyway, I'll go through all the design iterations that I went through and let's get right into the video. So I quickly made this 3D printed part just to test the screw size to make sure it was right. I just used the quarter 20 screw size that was that apparently is the universal size for tripods and that screw size seemed to fit so now i know that i'm gonna use this kind of screw size that's under there and i'm gonna have to have a housing here for a pipe just my scrap pvc and then that's gonna go out onto the connection onto the microphone and on the microphone 3d printed part that's also gonna have the housing for the pvc pipe on it and so it'll basically be an extension off of the tripod so I could put it in front of my face. And in order to hold in the ring that will hold the pipe, I'm going to use a sliding dovetail because that will make sure that it can slide in and won't be able to pull upwards. And it's also pretty simple to print and pretty simple to design, so that's what I'm going to start with. And if it's too weak, then I'll change to a stronger design, such as an upside down T or something like that. Okay, so I printed the ring that holds in the pipe and I changed the size of the piece at the bottom of the microphone so now the microphone fits into the pipe the pipe fits onto the ring and the ring fits onto the piece that goes into the tripod but this is a little bit loose I would make this a little tighter and also make it going the other way so that the the weight of the microphone is going opposite directions it would be perpendicular to the direction that this slides so there's no risk of this sliding off because of the weight so while I was tightening a part of this tripod that was sitting on top of here that adjusted the angle, I was tightening it and then suddenly the plastic part broke because this is a relatively cheap tripod. So I was thinking instead of throwing this away, I could turn it into the micro microphone stand that I was going to make. So I was looking at this and trying to see how I could mount it. At first I was trying to see if I could replace the broken part, but I knew that there was no way I could remake it and make it stronger than originally as it was because I think it was injection molded ABS. So what I was thinking of is I could just directly mount it here and just make it come into a straight pole that comes straight off of it instead of trying to remake what part it had before. So this part screws into here and then this part right here just goes over this little circle. It just fits right on top of it. And so I was thinking that if I could recreate this part, then I can add another part on top of it that would be able to hold the microphone. So as you can see, it's just a circle, a hole, and a thread on this side. So this part shouldn't be too hard to recreate because I don't need this part because I don't need to adjust the angle because it's just for a microphone and I know where I want to put it. So all I have to do is recreate something that has this size circle, a hole that fits this threaded rod in, and the correct size thread on the other side. Then I can just print it like this, remove the supports. I can just print it vertically, remove the supports, and I should be able to just fit it on here and put the screw in. And if I design it so that it has this piece on it, like as part of the piece, so the supports would be here and it would print like this all together. If I could design it like that, then after I print it, all I have to do is remove the supports and then I would be able to thread this through and the microphone would be able to just come directly off of here. So I printed this piece here, which fits right on top, but it pulls out when the screw is not on, which is why there's this piece which basically replicates the original piece so that this can go in and I found the right thread size. It was 5.5 millimeters for this tripod. So I just have a screw right in here printed into this backside. So now if I just tighten this and then I just keep tightening it all the way, then eventually it's able to tighten so that I can't rotate anymore and it's tightened all the way. And as you can see, it doesn't turn anymore until it's loosened.
So here's the final design for the microphone adapter that will go onto the top of my now broken tripod. So the way that this works is this ring will go over the top section of the tripod and then this section here is to hold a screw so that it can go through this hole and then screw into this side which has a 5.5 millimeter metric screw on it and then that will make sure that the screw could fit into the groove that is in the top of the tripod so it will hold it in so that it can't be pulled out vertically and then this top section which will hold in the part that holds the pipe is only connected to one side because I want to make sure that these two sides can still be separate pieces basically so it could flex over the top of the tripod and close together when it's screwed and then this part is going to hold the pipe and I used a T design to hold this in. I used to use a dovetail originally but it was a bit too weak and could be snapped out and strained over time so I changed to this which is a lot stronger so that should be able to hold and I shouldn't have to reprint it. And then this section is just going to hold the pipe and at the other end of the pipe will be the blue snowball microphone. So since I knew those sizes worked, I basically printed the same thing except I also added this piece on here which has this little kind of T channel. And that's going to be what I use in order to hold in the post that will have the microphone on the end of it. And the reason I changed to a T channel from the dovetail is because the dovetail was too weak and it was able to, with enough weight, it was able to just pull out of the hole and it basically just bent some of the plastic so I decided that I would go with a stronger design. And this is connected only to this side because I wanted to make sure that this this part could still flex a little bit when I tightened it so that it could rotate right now and then after I put the screw in it should be closed tight so it's only connected to this back side and as you can see there's a gap on this side because I don't want it to be connected to that part. So now if I test this it should be able to tighten just like the other piece. And as you can see it holds securely on. Okay so I just printed the piece and I cleaned up the supports. Now I tried to put it in here but it's a bit tight so I'm just going to have to sand it down a bit especially at the corners and then I'm just going to try fit it in here and then I'll attach it to the pipe. Okay so I sanded down this area on the bottom of the ring connection and then I attached it to the pipe and slid it into here so it's tight enough to hold easily and it's also able to slide out in case I want to make some sort of other attachment to fit right onto here and I can also tighten this area to make sure that this doesn't spin around too much but it doesn't it's not too much of a concern with this since this isn't going to be touched much and then at the end here as you can see the microphone is holding fine but you can also tell that it's slanting a bit but that's fine because I could just preset it to wherever my face is going to be so that angle doesn't really matter too much and as you can see, it holds pretty well. So that's basically going to be my setup for my mic from now on. So that's basically it for this video. Although my design did require me to mount it directly to a specific part of the tripod, you could do what I was doing in the original part of the video and what my original plan was, which is to make a thread that mounts onto the normal camera portion of a tripod to turn it into a microphone stand temporarily and that could be basically used for any microphone and on any tripod. So if you want to try this yourself, you could just apply those ideas and just through trial and error, try to fit your microphone to your tripod depending on what your gear is and you should be able to get some sort of finished project like I did. But anyway, that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed the video.